afterwards. So the, the main story is the old story of the seven blind men and the elephant. And that story with these blind men, and they'd been blind since the day they were born, and one day they were sitting together and talking about elephants. What is an elephant? We've never seen an elephant because they've been blind. So they decided to all go around to different parts and find an elephant and feel it so they could know what an elephant was. So the first blind man found an elephant and came back to the others and said, oh, an elephant is a snake because he'd felt the trunk. Another man had felt the tusks and said, oh, an elephant is a plow. They used to dig the fields. And another guy said, you idiots, it can't be a plow or a snake because he had felt the ears. It's one of those fans they use in the old places to actually to keep you cool in the hot weather. I mean, you don't have fans in Halifax because it's never hot. <laughs> Maybe it is in the summertime when I come here. And the one who felt the head said, oh, it's, an, it's a big water pot. The guy who felt the body said, no, it's a rock. The guy who felt the legs said, it can't be a rock, it's a tree trunk. And the one who felt the tail said it was a fly whisk. And everybody was perfectly sure that they were right because they had felt it, they had experienced it. And they argued and had a fight over what an elephant was. If only instead of fighting each other, religions, political parties, instead of fighting each other, I am right, this is what an elephant is. Imagine if they just met together and combined their experiences of what life is. And then, then they would have found an elephant is a big rock on four tree trunks with a fly whisk at the back, a big water pot on the front with two big fans on either side, a snake in the middle and just under the uh, snake, two plows. And that would be a pretty good description of an elephant for someone who's never seen one. But that is what I try and teach people how not to argue, but how to listen to one another and respect one another's views and combine them. 